Problem number eight, solving radical equations. We have the square root of 4x plus 7 is equal to the square root of x plus 5. So we're going to use the property by squaring both sides, whatever the index is. And in this case, we have the index of 2. So we're going to square both sides by 2. And that takes care of the radical on both sides. And we are left with 4x plus 7 is equal to x plus 5. Solving for x, so I'm going to subtract x or 1x from both sides. And that gives me 3x plus 7 is equal to 5. Now subtracting 7 from both sides, I get 3x is equal to negative 2. Dividing by 3 on both sides, we get x equals negative 2 over 3. You do not need to convert it into a decimal but it's going to be a little bit harder now to check if our so solution is correct. So plugging it back into the original problem, I get the square root of 4 times negative 2 over 3 plus 7, and that should equal the square root of negative 2 over 3 plus 5. Multiplying on the left, 4 times negative 2 over 3, we can make that a fraction as well. So we just straight multiply, we get negative 8 over 3 plus 7. On the right side, I'm just going to bring it down and do the same step on both. So now because I'm adding and subtracting fractions, I need the same common denominator. In this case, it would be 3. So this fraction is already 3. This fraction I have to make 3 by multiplying numerator and denominator by that number. On the right side, the least common denominator is the same. It's 3. So I'm going to multiply numerator and denominator by 3. Now, rewriting this problem, I get negative 8 over 3 plus 21 over 3, and that is equal to negative 2 over 3 plus 15 over 3. Now, I can add the numerators, and I get the square root of 13 over 3, and on the right side, adding the numerators together, negative 2 plus 15, so 15 minus 2 is also 13 over 3. So that checks out, which means that negative 2 over 3 is our answer for this problem.